going on guys? This is Burrs and this is my initial review of the Hollerado paddleboard. So when you're looking to get into the paddleboard market, you're going to have a choice. You're going you're gonna to want an inflatable or you're going to want a non-inflatable, which is a solid. But transportation can be limited if you have, you know, 10 plus foot board that you got to haul to the river, to the ocean, wherever you're going with the paddleboard. Having something that's inflatable is definitely uh, better because you're going to have more options. The key question is though, it's inflatable, is it going to pop? And uh, the resounding answer to that is no. With a caveat, which is as long as you have one made by a great company. Hal has been in this game for a really long time. They've made a ton of different boards over many, many years. They have great materials that they're using and a lot of innovations in a paddle board, which I'm going to show you now. All right, so first thing here is the stomp box. This is great if you want to get in and do some maneuvering and stuff, have a little fun, or if you're simply just going to go over top of some debris. Maybe there's a rock up ahead, maybe you can't get around, whatever, you know, is, is kind of right underneath the water or whatever. It actually goes in and retracts into the inside of the inflatable paddleboard, which to my knowledge is unique and proprietary. This stomp box is awesome. It doesn't come loose or anything like that. As long as you use Loctite, which I recommend, blue Loctite. Um, I've had it about 10 times now, and I've had zero issues to date. Love it. The board is super stable, and when you make a maneuver, it follows that maneuver very well. It's not like you have to constantly put input into the paddle to get this thing to go where you want it to go, which is a huge, awesome thing. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is the size. You got 10 feet, 10 inches by 35 by six inches. That's nice and deep. It's nice and wide, and that's what gives it its stability. And it's a very stable board. The maneuvering is very easy. It might not be the fastest thing out there, but I'll tell you what, you don't always need the fastest if you know how to pedal, right? So what else they have, I mean, you might look at this and you might think, oh, it's inflatable, it might be thin. You can't really see stuff like that when you look at pictures and stuff. But this is like serious. <laughs> I mean, it's not going anywhere. And this thing could definitely take a beating. I mean, you can see that I can't really compress it that much, if at all. You might look at this and say, oh, it's inflatable, maybe it's not durable, X, Y, Z. I mean, they got their second layer of PVC, like liquid PVC that's poured over the raw drop stitch material. And this is a double layer drop stitch material. So this is a solid board. You can see, you know, I don't really have anything going on. I mean, there's definitely some scuffs and stuff on here, but there's nothing going on as far as um, problems or delamination, which is what you want to look for with boards. Or delaminating at any part, as far as these inflatable boards. And you know, nothing's coming apart. Like I said, I've had it out about 10 times now, loving it. You can see here some of the seams on the back. Absolutely perfect. The quality of workmanship here is phenomenal. As far as your side fins are concerned, you got these what they call jelly fins. They go on and they click back. Now you have two side fins that you put on here as well. Take these out and then, you know, I've actually ridden just with the middle fin. It gets a little bit less stable, obviously, because you don't have the side fins, but you can 100% do it. I actually forgot it the one day. They were in a different bag and I went and I got there and I was like, screw it, we're just gonna roll with the, the four and a half inch fin back here. And, uh, you know, it has lots of different options and, uh, and what you can do and nice solid thought as far as the engineering goes. As far as when you come here, you have this nice diamond pattern as far as your foot stability and everything with grip. Um, it goes all the way down the board, which I love. Some boards out there don't have that. It's nice and it has good depth as far as like what I would call stippling in relation to the tactical community. <laughs> uh, it has a nice you know, feel to it and uh, lots of areas to connect things. So you have all these little loops that act as D-rings down there. You can put a cooler here throw your stuff up front, you can move things around, you can even put a kayak um, seat in here if you wanted to do that. Um, you got the D-ring back here for your leash, and you know, all in all, there's a lot, this is an all-around board. I mean, this is the board that I'm grabbing for almost anything, minus going out to the beach, you know, for surfing. 
this board is going to do it all lake river and you know, white water it's going to do all that it's going to do it really well and it gives you options i mean you can go out camping with this and backpacking and use this as your uh your transportation you can throw your backpack on the front of this thing or the back or wherever you want it strap it down and, and you know go have an adventure now the one thing our aqua glide does not have i don't know what the the actual technical term is but if I take this off you're not gonna have the air come out now I've seen other paddle boards where if this comes off the air starts to just immediately come out so this has like an anti um, some sort of valve technology you know stopper so that once it's filled it pushes back up with this yellow part and then if you push this yellow part down you'll get the air to come out so I do like that from a safety standpoint that if you're in the water or whatever I don't know. If you go out camping and do a little, you know, backpacking with it, and you bring this off, and somehow this gets caught and pulls off, it's not going to deflate on you. Whereas another one, uh, I know the Aqua Glide that's on the market, um, that one doesn't have this, and uh, I don't know. That that's surprising that that wouldn't be on there, but it's on here. Which I recommend if you're going to get a paddleboard, an inflatable one, get a pump. This is a uh, Aqua Glide. You know, I don't want to stand there and have to pump something up by hand for 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, I'd rather have a machine do it, save some energy, you know, especially if you're gonna go out paddleboarding. You know, who wants to do that? So it's much easier, especially when you have many paddleboards. So when Mrs. Burrs and I go out and we have two paddleboards or something like that, it's so much easier just to, you know, uh, have them blow up with uh, a machine versus having to do it yourself. Now the one thing you'll notice is this is actually is kind of like a swallow tail. It's kind of like, it's not, it's not straight. It's up in the front, it's up in the back just a little bit, and that really helps to uh, go through the currents and anything you're gonna hit as far as, you know, breaks and stuff in the water. It definitely helps with that cutting through that. You got these bungees up here, and uh, obviously you can do whatever configuration you wanna do if you wanna use these down here. Uh, just a lot of different configuration and options, which is really awesome. If you're gonna buy one board, I'd 100% say this board right here is one to go with. I'll keep using it throughout the summer. I'll get back to you and let you know what my long-term thoughts are on it after I've had it out in uh, you know, some different environments, minus the lakes that are around me right here. But uh, so far, so good, digging it. And I think you can definitely uh, dig it yourself. If you're interested in an inflatable paddleboard, that is, what's my favorite word? Bomb proof. So if you guys have uh, inflatable paddle boards and you've used them, Go ahead and put in the comments how they've worked for you. If you've had hala stuff in the past, go ahead and put that in the comments. Until next time, later.